beauties so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this look using the Milani products that I showed you on my previous video it's um, Bella Chiffon and Bella Teal um, also as you can see I have one side done already so you can see kind of more or less the final look so if you want to know how I got this look, go ahead and stay tuned so I can go ahead and finish this eye. Okay, so this look is kind of giving me like a mermaid look. As you can see on the end, I also did like a fishtail kind of look so it can have that mermaid effect. To me, I don't know. I'm just wear like that so going in for um primer i am will be using if i can find it in my table the elf shadow lock eyelid primer and be back then it was a dollar now they moved it up to two dollars so um be on the lookout for this this is the primer so that way i am because i'm using that green color I want that color to stand out, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that primer all over my lid. Okay, for a transition color, I am going to be using my NYC um, Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Now, this is for bronzer or, you know, but I like the color because it's like an orange tone to good for, you know, the transition color, good for blending. So going in with my Pure Cosmetics um, Double Angled Fluffy Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of that Sunny and put all in my outer corner. I like to get a lot of it just so that um, in this eye you can see the dark brown and then you can see that orange kind of color to give it like a layer kind of effect so I'm just gonna pack that color in because it, it helps more of you to help blend so that's my transition color now going in for, um, since, you know, I already applied the primer, it kind of locks in that eyeshadow. So going in with um, my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, which looks like that. And I am going to be using my favorite, this is so far my favorite palette because I do have a lot of them, but... So far, I'm liking this one more. So, going in with the LA Palette Nude 2 from L'Oreal Makeup Design Paris. I'm going in with this dark brown kind of color. And I'm going to apply it right above my eyelid, but right in the middle of the transition color. I also um, did my foundation. The foundation that I did use was the Infallible Pro Matte, of course, 106 Sun Beige. Um, the loose face powder, I'm using that Airspun from Cody Airspun and um, Extra Translucent Coverage. And I did apply my bronzer, which, of course, it's the um, sunny one that I am using for that contouring effect. And I... Yeah, that's pretty much it on this side of the face. So going in more, I like to put like a dark brown. And like I said, I'm putting it right in the middle of those two colors. Right on the outer. I'm going in with... It's uh, back with my... um. Fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend those two to color, to color, <laughs> blend those two together, and then just blend it out. 
and I'm keep looking on this side so I can see the even look. So the good thing with that loose powder is good because it catches all the fallout and you can just go ahead and brush it off. So I say so a lot. Going in with a flat um eyeshadow brush. You don't have to use the brush because these colors are very pigmented with just literally you can see my finger it's clean just one one swatch and it's like right in your eyes but I like to use a brush just because um, I feel like since it's very very um, what's that word that I just use right now it's a cream gel I mean it's a gel powdered eyeshadow so it really picks up really quick so going in with that elf um, daily Mi the mist I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my little little bit I have like tongue twist I'm like um, like a brain fart or something with my eyeshadow brush going in with that Milani Bella Teal I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my eyelids the setting that mist um helps kind of lock in more with this kind of eyeshadows just because it picks up more product i feel so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that more I... now i'm not i didn't really go over um my eyelid i'm just kind of going sticking in that spot right there I'll apply more just just to make it stand and I feel like this color it does remind me like like the mermaid tail it's like a green blue kind of color so that's why I say mermaid even though it's more like a tor torquoise or teal kind of color how it does so yeah once I apply that, I'm going to go in back with, I'm going to use a different kind of brush. This is the Equal Tools. This is the new package um, that I recently got. I don't know if I have the package. Let me see if I can find it so I can show you guys in case you guys want to look for it. Because it, they're really cute, small little brushes and they're coming really handy. So um, let me find that so I can show you. I didn't have a thing, but it's this little package, Equal Tools, and there's four brushes in there. There's one, two, wait, five. It comes with these small, tiny um, brushes. This is like an angled brush, a small little crease brush, a little small eyeshadow brush, just a big old fluffy brush, and this is another small fluffy brush, and this is like to blend. So I'm going to go ahead and go in back with that palette, going in with that dark brown color. This time using a different brush just because the other one didn't really pick up as much product or like it didn't get to that spot that I want it to get. Mostly in the outer corner. So I'm just going to apply that brown. And while I'm applying it, I'm blending it as well. And if you did put a transition color, um, translucent cover powder on the bottom, don't worry about getting all that fallout because... You can just brush it right off. So let me just go ahead. So let me go in and blush brush that powder off using an elf powder brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blush it off. Going back in with my um Pure Cosmetics Fluffy Brush. I'm going to go ahead and just blend those colors out. And I am blending upwards as you can tell. So that looks pretty even. So going in with um, the Flower Brush. And this is a small um eyeshadow brush and this is in brush LC1 going in with 
that Bella Chiffon 28 kind of color. It's a kind of like a, um, like how I said, like a pearl golden white color. So I'm going to go ahead and use that brush and apply it in my inner highlight. These colors are very, very, very pigmented. Like, it picks up color. It, it, you can, you know, you can apply more on this. And I am using lashes, kind of dramatic lashes for this look, just because that green um, is very bold. That teal color looks very, it really pops out. So these kind of looks, you can't go without eyelashes. So I applied that in my inner highlight. Then I'm going to apply it right below my eyebrows. And I feel like since we're still, even though the weather has calmed down a little bit down here, it's still winter time all the way to through February, I think, I believe. <laughs> I need to go back to school. But, um, so I feel like you can still rock out that dark brown colors during this time. So going back in with my fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend those two to color together. So that's how it looks so far. Go ahead and feel free to clear out that. Um, I was going to tell you guys, go ahead and blend those two to cook. Why do I always get confused to color? Together. Blend those two colors together. Oh my God. Get it right, Jeanette. <laughs> so go ahead and blend that up. So that's how it's looking so far. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put blush first before I put the eyeliner and lashes. So going in with Milani Baked Blush 08 Carolina. So it kind of has like that orange golden effect. But I really liking this blush. It's really... It's nice. So, going in with my Posh Duo double-sided bronzer blush brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply that in my cheekbones. Smile. With that highlight, using my Real Techniques foundation brush, but I am using it as a highlighter. <coughs> brush in 101 and I'm going to be using that hard candy um, twinkle star pearl powder dual that and I will be using this color right here which is the lighter one that's bronzing kind it's gonna go ahead and kind of um tap on that on that <laughs> tap on that <laughs> I have such a dirty mind okay just Glided, I guess, for that highlight. I did apply some on my nose. So, going in with um, mascara, I'm going in with the Choreo Cover Girl Lash Flash Volume. Like, what is up with me today? I'm seriously like having brain farts. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it a little bit. So I can let that dry just a little bit. Just because it helps when you apply the eyelashes. It kind of it tells you where your original eyelash lashes are. So when you apply those lashes, you can go over on top. So going in with all my black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyeliner. All on my lid. I mean, on my eyelid, of course. Um, this look, I kind of did that um, fish gel kind of effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
really take my time on this. So I'm going to wing it out. Okay, and then from that wing, I'm going to go ahead and get it and just drag out another tiny wing. I'm going to just fix it up, I guess. Let's see. Make it out. I, got, I always got to, like, make sure they're both the same. And if you haven't, kind of, as you can see, mine's kind of a little messed up. I'm going to go ahead and get just, like, a Q-tip. And just clean up that. I had to like clean it up with the Q-tip just because it looked all, you know, messed up as you can tell right here. But you can go ahead and just apply a little bit of powder to clean it up. Why well, do? So, um, so that's kind of like that fish tail in the end kind of look. So, um, going in with the eyelashes, I will be using... Andrea um, strip lashes and these are 33 in black and the eyelash glue that I do use is the dual adhesive um, and clear white glue so I'm going to go ahead and apply those on um, while I am letting that glue dry on that eyelash that I did use for my lips was from Remo London Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. Let me see if I can find the. I guess that's what it, the color was A Thousand Kisses. Which is like a brown kind of color. And for my lipstick, I did use Milani in 38 Double Espresso. I'm going to go ahead and just touch up. Because it takes a while for that for the eyelash glue to you know, get sticky. And for my lip gloss, I used the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Lip Gloss 8 Hour and 8.15 Barely Nude. So I just used that on my lips. So just blend it out. Um, for my cheeks, I already showed you what I used. Milani on 08 Carolina. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use, this is Wet n Wild White Eyeliner. I've had this for the longest time. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play it in my waterline. Just in my waterline. And going in with, um... My flower small medium angled brush, and this is EO2. Going in back with that LA palette, L'Oreal palette, and this kind of color, this back to brown. And I apply that right under that white that we used. Just to help blend because we will be using um, L'Oreal Paris Silk Kiss Me Eyeliner in black. I'm going to go ahead and apply where I had put that brown. Not in my waterline, just close to right above it. Going in back with that flower brush. And just using those colors to blend. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes. And then we'll be almost done with this look. That eyelash, I'm going to go back in with my CoverGirl Lash Flash Volume in color very black. I'm going to go ahead and just 
makes my my natural eyelashes to those eye falsies just to make them stay longer and make them blend and help it helps blend out so I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and putting some mascara in the bottom of my lashes my lower lashes I'm like teary eye on this. Don't you just hate that? Once you do your makeup, once you have everything on point, you start to okay, get like that watery eye. That's what I have right now. Watery. It's really, really dripping. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in back with the Milani um, Bella Chiffon 28 with my flower LC1. And you're gonna apply some more in that teardrop. So that completes this final look. That mermaid um, color fishtail, the brown lips. So if you like this step-by-step -step video, this makeup tutorial, um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I will list all the products that I used down below. So those of you who has been subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video.